Right, then welcome back to Breakfast Central on News Central with Olisa Chukuma and Tulokwe at Deleru Balogu. Don't forget, join mm -hmm. us right now, social media, News Central TV. Watch us on YouTube and yes, log on to the website, News Central dot africa more conversations right here for you now in this digital age uh, with social media being the center of attraction as we know people are creating content out of any form and everything from content uh, from blogs to cooking shows comedy television and social media the concept of who is a content creator keeps evolving as we are all essentially uh, content creators every day and today content really is king now, today we'll be spotlighting a content creator who is literally taking the stress off of Nigerians by taking games to the streets. His name is Victor Panwal, a.k.a. Black Boy Vic. Victor, Black Boy Vic, welcome to Breakfast Central. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Good morning. Morning. All right, let's start with this. You are a graduate of theater and film arts. And mm. so content creation is really not so far away from um, that, from your degree. But when you graduated in yeah. 2018, did mm. you really think this, what you're doing now, is what you would be doing? Yeah, because I started creating content um, back in 2017 while I was still in school. So, I mean, I knew that when I finished, that was the line of work I would want to take. So, yeah. All right, so before we get to the next question, let's let the world know what exactly it is that Black Boy Vic does. We have some videos mm. of the contents that you create. Let's take a look at this. Uh, Victor, this is absolutely amazing. You know, we're watching that and we're just, you know, giggling with fits of laughter now. How did you decide that you would try to get Nigerians, Lagosians, to do pillow fights and, you know, water gun fight, which is my favorite, on the streets of Lagos? Yep. So um, I was on Twitter some time ago and then I saw, like, the American version. I saw Americans do it. I'm like, okay, this looks, this looks quite interesting and... I know how Nigeria is. I was like, okay, now why, why don't I go and try and see how Nigerians react to this thing? And I went on the street and I just tried it and here we are. So, yeah, okay. that was it. So here we are. So you see that you, you're having some mm. difficulty trying to encourage some people to join in. Mm. And that happens. Yeah. We are who we are, you know. Um, but when you get to them and you, you saw one guy say, you and who, which is a very typical <laughs> Nigerian response to this. What, yeah. What's the general yeah. reaction you get when mm. you're challenging people to pillow fights and gun fights on the streets? So, so surprisingly, surprisingly, like I have more people fighting than I thought I would. Ah. So, um, because, yeah, because of the way Nigeria is, um, initially I thought I would be having like, if I approach 10 people, I thought like just like one or two would participate. But surprisingly, when I approach 10 people, like five are participating and then five are not. So it's kind of more than I expected. and. And I'm actually very happy about it. <laughs> all, all, all right, because I'm I'm watching the, you know the videos about the pillow fight. You know, it's fun. Even the water gun, I'm I'm loving that. You know, but aren't you afraid because it's so random? You know, have you had any yeah. experience where you know you, you encountered you know people who were a bit hostile to you? I saw you tweet huh. about something happening in Bariga. <clears throat> Tell us all about it. What happened in yeah. Bariga? Yes. Yeah, so um, my team and I were shooting in Lagos. And um, because we wanted to actually touch like the heart, we wanted to actually go to the streets. So we decided to go to Bariga and then we approached this group of boys that were scared. And we explained what we wanted to do. And they stared, 
talking and before I knew what's happening, they started talking about um us about them taking taking our cameras and they're speaking um, largely in Yoruba and I and, mm. and I didn't understand Yoruba do, but from what someone else said they were saying we should take our cameras off and then they said in English that they use bottles to break our head if we don't leave oh. that place wow. and off. So yeah, they actually threatened to be and they actually picked the bottle. So like that was when we knew, oh, okay, these guys are actually serious about this. So we had to just leave immediately. So that, that was like the worst experience I've had while doing the whole pillow and what's going fight. Okay, so that's been your worst experience. Let's mm. talk about your best. I have my own, and it was your best experience that actually um, brought me to you. But what's been your best experience doing this? Mm. Oh, uh, <clears throat> so I have, I, have, I have a lot of experiences. I have a lot of experiences that I love. Um, but <clears throat> let me just share one that is not public that I've not said out. Um, so while, while I did the first pillow fight, while I put it online on mm. Twitter, I got DMs from a lot of people. A lot of people sent me DMs saying, this actually made their day, this actually yeah. changed their perspective of our life, and so on. But there's a particular DM I got from, <clears throat> from a lady that said she was actually suicidal. Mm. But after watching the video, she felt very good, and that she's please not stop making content like this. Mm. So like that was one, one, of, one of them, the encounter of the people that actually that, that that actually touched me. I'm like, okay, if someone can say this, then why should I stop making people happy? So yeah. that's why we're still here. That's why I'm still doing this content. That's why I'm still here making content. Yeah. yeah I also cool. remember watching, you know, uh, the water gun fights. Uh, I think a mother who had a son uh, who yes. was autistic also, yes. you know, thanking you, talking about how you really encouraged the young lad uh, to yeah. join you in the, you know, the fun and games, which was just quite sweet. It was. All right, so yeah. we're going to wrap yeah. up in just a bit. Um, but there are people creating spontaneous content all over right mm. now. I can pick up my phone if I was not as lazy as I am and start creating content. <laughs> and then you have the highly created content. You have people who have stumbled into it, like Kenya's Elsa Majimbo, who mm. has, you know, now really blown, as mm. we like to say in Nigeria. Do you ever feel pressure about the type of content you create or about what the next thing that mm. you need to do is? Do you ever feel that pressure? Sorry, come again. I didn't get that. I'm sorry. Do you ever feel pressure about mm. the kind of content you need to create so that you become, you blow, or you just keep doing what you're doing? Oh, okay. No, no. Um, so I, I, I've been creating normal comic content from 2017, mm. normally. But this particular content that I'm doing, this particular um, social experience I'm doing, has nothing to do with being blown or not. I just, I just felt I should touch people's life by actually going to the street to affect people's lives. So, whether people and the reason why I record, I film it and put it online is for people to also watch. And because I, I, I got to know that people that are watching from home also are actually very entertained and their mood lighting up, lighting up just like people that are participating. So creating content has nothing to do with um brain up or or any or any. I mean, no, I've actually fought in like four states. I fought in Jaws, I fought in Kaduna, fought in Lagos and Abuja. Wow. This four states and no one. As I, no one is sponsoring me, or no one is paying my transport to these different things. I do it on my own. So it's, it has nothing to do with um, wanting to be known or blown. It's just a personal thing that I do mm. that makes me happy because it makes other okay. people happy. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, four places Lagos, Joss, Kaduna, Abuja. Where next for you, Victor? <laughs> so, uh, so the thing is, I have a lot of people saying, come to Ibadan, come to Ekiti, come to mm. Port Harcourt. But a lot of people actually send me because but I'm actually thinking of like, like maybe Ovi next, or oh, maybe okay. Ibadan, okay. or Port But I actually want to go to these places too. So, I mean, they're in my plans too. Okay. All right. So we'll be looking out for you to mm -hmm. see the next one. And maybe one of these days you'll show up on the streets outside our office and we'll make it into the biggest hmm. pillow fight okay. Nigeria has oh, ever seen. Yeah. Because see, I'm ready. That's... Only Sato is playing. Oh, I'm wow. ready for yeah, this, yeah. this morning. Okay. I'm not, I'm not, not, I'm not playing. It's not only you that is What is this? I, I don't got, understand. I have my own too. What, what's oh, going on? Wow. So you have inspired us this I, Friday. And then, I will. Uh, okay. I, I what do you mean? Wait, what do you mean? Do you know who I am? We'll take a break. Victor, <laughs> please, we'll catch you later. Let's take a break and, and settle this beef. <laughs> Victor, Black Boy Victor, thank you so much for joining us on Breakfast Central. We'll be catching you yeah. on social media. And thank you right, for thank making you. people laugh. Thanks. Thank you so much right. for Have a good one. Uh, thank you very much, Victor. Wow. Pillow, pillow fight. If, you, if you misbehave. Okay. Okay. Let me drink water first. Okay. Mm. Mm. All right. We'll take a break. We'll be back. When we come back. If, if you mess up my makeup. <laughs> 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 